We have a ton of things to talk about, so walk with me, talk with me. First things first, I have filled out Settled's friendship application because not only did you guys get me past 30,000 subscribers, I'm nearing 35,500 at the time of recording this, which is unbelievable. I honestly feel like I'm dreaming, so thank you guys for showing the support you have. I am so excited. Last episode, I mentioned the Corsair curse and X marks the spot as exceptions in free play quests. Turns out I forgot all about Mistle and Mystery, kind of spaced that one. But there was another one that I did not expect to be released later down the line, and that was Rune Mysteries. <laughs> Rune Mysteries was released on December 1st, 2003, simultaneously with the RuneScape 2 beta. It was the 51st quest released into the game, bringing the Essence Mine and Runecrafting with it. Which means, I will not be able to make my own runes until I have 113 quest points. On top of that, I want to address some restrictions I unknowingly broke last episode. I accessed the Lumbridge Bank, which wasn't released until 2006. Zeke's Scimitar Shop wasn't released until two weeks after the first quest. The fishing spot where I caught shrimp didn't exist. Home teleports weren't implemented until 2006. I stood at the Grand Exchange and used a clan chat. There's a couple minor ones on top of those, but basically I didn't come to think about them until I had detectives point them out in the comments and on on Twitter. So, moving forward, I'm going to restrict myself from accessing major content, like agility rooftops, stronghold of security, etc. Shops in the current game are free to use, banks will be free to use, I'm going to use the home teleport, I'm going to use my clan chat for social sanity, which you should all join. The purpose of this series is to experience each quest as they came out. There's just so many differences between classic and the current game, it would take the enjoyment out of it researching every little item or square I'm stepping on. I'll do my best to stay true to the time period, but there might be some stuff that doesn't 100% correlate to 2001 before RuneScape 2 even existed. Even Toucan pointed out that running didn't even exist in 2001, so... No thank you! Ernest the Chicken. One of my least favorite quests growing up as a kid, because this place scared the hell out of me. You may have noticed, I have some new armor on. While I was out of town, I smithed, and I mined, and I created all of this from scratch, and I got this new cape, because I killed- okay. I killed a highwayman, because they came out on the same day as this quest, so slaughtered one of those guys and uh, put that on my back. All right, so I found the dingleberries and I just stepped on Ernest. So the premise of this quest is Professor Audenstein here was conducting an experiment or something and uh, he changed Ernest to a chicken. Uh, basically, we need to go find the parts and get it back to this guy and uh, and, and turn Ernest back so he can go back to his, to his, his hot wife. I'm pretty sure I have to dig something up from here. I can't entirely remember. I'm not using a quest guide. Yeah, that was a different quest. A lot of people in the comments are saying, Oh, don't use quest guides, you know? It makes it a lot more fun. And I really don't. The only thing I really use quest guides for is getting the items beforehand. Because if I just try to figure out all the items I needed through the dialogue of the NPCs, each quest would take two months. This place is always so confusing every time I walk in. And uh, this guy is hurting me. I always thought this part was pretty messed up. You have to poison the fish food and then go pour it. Oh, I can't, I can't go through there. And then you have to pour it into the fountain that has an overwhelming amount of piranhas in it. Local gamer boy tarred and feathered by PETA activists after killing a school of fish in a virtual online game. It's all worth it. I got the part. So this is the most memorable part of any free to play quest ever because of how much it sucks. The people that figured this out for the first time sat together with a group of engineers and rocket scientists and mapped this out for days. If you've never played this quest before, 
basically the premise of this is there's a bunch of levers around this room that open different doors and you have to figure out which lever opens which doors and which levers uh, need to be up and down at the same time. And there's a shitload of them and you have to like figure out the path. It's, it's a shit show. Lucky for me, I'm extremely talented and gifted and was able to navigate through the maze with ease with no help whatsoever. Trust me. I'm glad I could help Ernest out, but even after doing this, there's no way his wife's gonna believe he got turned into a chicken. She's like, yeah, right! You were up there with a, with a woman. I know it. There's no way she would buy it. Oh, look. Next up on the list is Vampire Slayer. The idea behind this storyline is there's a vampire in Draenor Manor just haunting people and sucking blood while they're sleeping and stuff, so, uh, we're responsible for taking care of it. So I just stole some garlic from Morgan's cupboard upstairs, and also I'm gonna, uh, kill his wife. Yeah, I don't do favors for free, and sometimes the, the price is your spouse, so. It is important to give her a proper burial right at the toes of her husband. I should, um, uh, go to therapy. If RuneScape teaches you one life lesson to carry with you into real life, it's buy anyone alcohol and they'll help you out with whatever you need. I am a regular at Drainer Manor and it's kind of depressing. Okay, thanks. You know what? That's, I'm going to use that as a boost for my fight. That tree was practically smelling salts for me. When I was a kid, I used to think these little chairs, the ghost chairs following you were Jagex moderators just kind of trolling you, but that's that's just not it. Uh, but also, we're here, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get it done. Get your ass up, Count. Come on, you're late for school. Uh, just kidding. It's not your mom waking you up for school. It's me. Oh, this is too easy. This is too easy. Oh my god, I didn't even need food. I'm gonna taunt him. <laughs> I'm just gonna do emotes the whole in between each hit. Okay, he's actually coming back now, and it's kind of terrifying. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, his health is healing like rapidly, and he won't stop hitting twos and threes on me. Oh my god. Don't get cocky, kids. Bad things will happen. Stay humble. Okay, I might actually lose this fight. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, there we go. We're good. So in the decade that I've played RuneScape, this is going to be the second time that I've killed imps for all the beads. Uh, and clearly I can't do anything else until I get the beads, so hopefully it doesn't take four hours like it did last time. Uh, yep, that's, that's what this is gonna be. Okay, I just got extremely lucky. I've only killed about five so far, and I already got one, so, uh, three more to go! I like that! Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Give it to me. What's a flyer? Huh? Oh. That's what the doctor ordered, baby. Right there. Just the yellow one left. We are done. We are done. I'm pretty sure I killed close to 50 to 60, which really isn't that bad, so... I'm not gonna complain about it. The one thing I really love about quests like these is uh, the dialogue that Jagex added. Like, I knew about this quest before going into it, so I came here with the four beads, so they added this dialogue. Could you get my beads back for me? Well, this is a surprising turn of events. What? Well, I just happen to have all those beads on me. Are you saying that you stole my beads all this time and I've been blaming the imps? No, not at all. I just found them throughout my travels and presumed somebody would need them at some point. Jagex, your awareness is great. There we go. We're done. That's also some fatty magic XP. Now, Prince Ollie Rescue is my favorite free-to-play quest by far. I just remember being a little kid and feeling like a badass because every quest before this, you're kind of looked at like an idiot, and then this one, you're like, oh, I'm a super awesome James Bond spy boy. I'm gonna really show them. So how this is gonna go down is we need to make a disguise for the prince so he can just kind of waddle his way out, but first we need to mold the key that is around Kelly's neck. Sounds really complicated, but um, <laughs> it, it won't be. So while I'm getting the supplies, I thought I'd bring something up. Some people were pointing out the fixed version of the game. My approach to resizable is more for production, more opportunities to zoom in on things. But if you guys think that I should just use fixed because fixed was the only way you could play in 2001, then let me know. Let me know what you think about that. I don't have a problem playing with fixed, but you know, again, resizable. I just use it for production purposes. I got all the supplies. I'm going in hot. I really don't understand why this is such an ordeal for everybody in Al Karid because you could just walk in like, hey, everybody, it's me. Just <laughs> hello. I am really good at psychologically manipulating uh, highly trained killers. Come on, Kelly. Just let me touch it just for one second. I just want to touch it for one second. I don't understand why Osmond doesn't just let me make the key since, you know, every armor piece on my body was handcrafted skillfully by yours truly. I hate myself. 
Okay, final stage of Operation Walk Through the Front Door. Gonna go get this guy out of his cell and uh, just, just walk out with no issues. Except Kelly is outside, so that doesn't really work for us because these guys are just gonna use me as batting practice. So I'll take care of the guard first and Jagex again with the alcohol will solve every conflict you ever run into. Okay, first strategy is gonna be chivalry. Open the door for Kelly. Come on in. There we go. Okay, that was that was easy. That's Huh? Excuse excuse me? <laughs> no wonder they wanted me to do this shit. No, I'm not going. I'm not doing it. Get someone else to do it. That girl can walk through walls. I'm not having any of that bullshit. So I hopped worlds because she just wouldn't come inside. Now we need to throw her in a cupboard. So we're just gonna do this real quick and uh, throw her right in. Hey everybody, put this on. I really don't care about you, but I am really tired of paying 10 GP every time I want to go into the desert. Alcarid hero coming through. Yeah, no, you're not getting any of my coins. Yep, absolutely not. Uh, have a great day, gentlemen. I saved your boy. Pay up. That, that's what I'm talking about. That is juicy. So while I was mining and getting my armor made the other day, I looked it up and there was only one kind of pickaxe in RuneScape Classic. No matter what mining level you had, you were stuck with pickaxe. For the time being, I'm just gonna stick with a bronze pickaxe because I guess that's kind of staying true to classic. An iron pickaxe came out on May 27th, 2003, and I believe that's around quest number 43. So I think I can man up and just stick to a bronze pickaxe till then. I'm gonna go ahead and bust out Dork's quest because it was one of four quests released on April 6th, 2001. The other three are Black Knight's Fortress, Witch's Potion, and the Knight's Sword. So we've got everything we need for the quest. We can complete it in about two seconds. There's also another self-aware dialogue back and forth. You know, it's funny you should require those exact things. What do you mean? I can usually fit 28 things in my backpack and in a world full of quite literally limitless possibilities, a complete coincidence has occurred. I don't quite understand what you're saying. So lucky for us, now that we've done this quest, we can now use Dork's conveniently placed anvils. On to Witch's Potion. If anyone has any fan art, uh, preferably explicit, uh, drawings of Hetty, please send them my way. This quest is pretty straightforward. It's just, uh, you claim you want to get in touch with your darker side, uh, which means magic XP. So she tells you to go get a rat's tail, an eye of newt, uh, and some burnt meat, and, and then you win. I know what you're thinking, Jim, why did you go to a bear? Instead of just the cow pin down the road, it would have been a lot faster to get the meat that way. It's because I like a challenge! I need challenges in my life, and I do Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen, saying bears are endangered is like saying the world is flat. It's just not true. Honey, I'm home. I got everything you asked for on your shopping list. Go drink from the cauldron. <laughs> Okay, I'll trust you. All right, so I drank from it, got 325 magic XP, and I'm going to die in five minutes because she put cyanide in it. The infiltration never stops. It's time for Black Knight's Fortress. I'm pretty stoked to start this one because the White Knight's storyline is definitely one of my favorites. He gave me the mission details on a on a piece of paper that self-destructs, so I'm gonna hold it in front of his face. Dude, don't open that in here. Are you insane? Uh-huh. Everybody get the fuck down! You are by far the worst person I've ever met. That guy's a baby. So the Black Knights are scheming against the White Knights right now. What do you know? They're cooking up some soup of mass destruction and it's our job to infiltrate their base, drop a cabbage in it, and ruin everything. I need to get an iron chain body for a flawless disguise. It's 260 GP from the shop or I'm one smithing level away from being able to make it myself so we're gonna, we're gonna go the budget route. Also, here's the updated stack for my savings. Gotta be real careful with that stack since, you know, I can't runecraft for another year. This mugger is giving it to this bot right now. Oh my god. That's how the cookie crumbles, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, getting inside heavily fortified areas is just not that hard. Okay, I have made my way to the grill in the wall that was specifically designed for just listening into this room. Oh, whoops. I slipped! Oh! There's no way it's still falling. Where's the cabbage? Where I dropped it in there. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> the longest fall of all time. Let's get this money. Give me that money, baby. 2,500. 
Yeah, maybe they should have written a Forbes article about me. I have been waiting to do this quest for so long, since I already have 26 smithing. After I get this done, I'll have 34, which means we can make an iron armor set, and I can become the ultimate champ. Just read a book for the first time in six years, and you already know what's happening. We gotta make ourselves some red berry pies. Over the years, I've learned that you need to get supplies to make two of whatever you're making, because chances are, uh, especially if you're me, you will fuck it up. So we're replicating this guy's sword and he's got a picture of it in his cupboard, but he's in his room right now. Oh, okay, yeah, good, good, there you go. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna stay in your room for a while. Don't, uh, don't ask any questions, don't come in. Gotta mine some of these, uh, ores over here, and this guy is whacking me in my mouth. I'm gonna get two of these things so I can make my own. I don't even know how strong the sword is, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I have everything right here. Can you, can you make the sword for me? Oh, oh, you're so kind. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, yeah. yeah, I have no idea where it went. I, I lost it. Can you make another one? Oh, thank you. So You're so kind. I hope drop tricking was a thing in 2001 or uh, account ruined. Look at that smithing XP. That is beautiful. 34 smithing? You know what time it is. I told you this place is convenient, but look at that, baby. Keep your girlfriends inside, because this man's taking all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, Goblin Diplomacy sucks. If you haven't had the pleasure of doing this quest before, basically you're resolving an argument between two Goblin Generals over the best color armor to wear. There's no underlying story here, there's nothing productive to come out of this quest, and the ending? I'll just let you see for yourself. Alright, so you got all the dyes, you, you put the red with the yellow and make the orange. I shit you not. I must have killed over a hundred goblins to get this goblin mail that you're about to see right here. This was ridiculous. The drop rate for goblin mail was nowhere related to what I experienced. When it finally appeared as a drop, I felt like I got a pet. So you got everything ready, right? Fuckface comes out wearing orange. They hate it. Next, he comes out repping the Crips. Not a fan either. Finally, Dickhead wears the original armor, which doesn't even look like the original armor, and they are ecstatic about it. Yeah, I spent 45 minutes slaughtering their friends and family, so I hope they like it. June 11th, 2001 was a huge day for RuneScape because the island of Karumja opened. This was also the release of Pirate's Treasure, which is our last quest before the free-to-play finale. Pirate's Treasure is a pretty simple quest. We just have to go to Karumja, smuggle this pirate back some rum, and he'll give us a treasure map. I am not a supporter of microtransactions, but if they were to happen, I hope this man's outfit is on the list. We're getting this thing across the pond by putting it with the bananas. Shove like 10 bananas in there and you put the rum. I just drank the rum. I'm going to quit RuneScape. All right, this time we're gonna actually put it in and there you go. We're back from Madagascar. The rum is in that crate back there. I wish this is how jobs in real life worked. Oh yeah, I already own the outfit, so I'm, I'm good to go. Got the rum back, super illegal. I like how he gave us a key instead of just giving us the map. He's like, yeah, I mean, I have a map, but you gotta go get it. Blow me, buddy. I just sailed the seven seas to smuggle you alcohol. So is this the pirate's room, or am I just breaking into another person's house? There, <laughs> this is a really sketchy quest. I'm just doing a ton of illegal things. Visit the city of the White Knights. Oh, I know those guys. All right, here we go. Oh. Maybe it was this guy's house. And there we go. Well, there is only one more quest to conquer in free-to-play. <laughs> <laughs>